So uh, let's talk about the wave vector. So the wave equation in its uh, complex form is something like this. So the A is amplitude, so depending on what kind of uh, electric magnetic field, like the electric field or magnetic field, you have a unit. And then this is complex form, and V is a frequency. It is the number of cycles per unit time. Um, basically, it is the inverse of the period. And lambda is wavelength in the unit of millimeter. Um, actually, um, the wave equation, the real wave, is, is, is by taking the real part of this complex form. But most time we just ignore saying this. We just say that this is the wave equation. And now if we introduce two concepts, the first one is wave vector. Actually, the wave number of special frequency is just the magnitude of the wave vector. Um, so the, the wave number is, is k is 2 pi divided by lambda. Uh, in the unit of radius per millimeter. And another concept is angular frequency, um, omega equal to 2 pi divided by the period and the, in the unit of uh, radius per second. If we use these two um, donation, uh, denot denotations, then we can read the um, simplify the wave equation in this form. So it's very simple. And in the three dimension, in the space, um, we can write it like this. So k is actually the vector. This is dot product of the wave vector and the spatial vector. And so you may ask that why we need this uh, wave vector um, and how it comes. So in the time domain, uh, like if we, if we uh, write the or plot the wave equation in the time domain is something like this. So this is a period. And if we write the equation, it is it is same, this is same form, same two pi times t divided by the period. In this way we can represent the wave in any uh, time. Then if we re rearrange this part, it is two pi divided by t times the t. And then we name this part uh, angular frequency. And now, because the waves not only oscillate, oscillate, oscillate in the same spot or same location like the antenna, it also has a spatial distribution. So if we represent, it, represent the wave equation in the spatial domain, fx versus x in the same form, and this is lambda, the the wavelengths, then we can write it like this, sine 2 pi times x divided by the lambda, the wavelengths. And then if we, if we rearrange this part into this form, so we can name the 2 pi divided by lambda is equal to k, the wave vector. So this is how the wave vector comes out, because the wave not only in changing with time in the one special special spot one one location but also varies with 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 the spatial distribution